Sonoma Raceway just repaved and things could not be going worse. Sonoma Raceway is doing its best Martinsville impression apparently because it's shedding its racing surface. The track was just completely resurfaced within the last month and everything seemed to be going fine. NASCAR just held a tire test out there. Ross Chastain said the track was super gripped up there running two and a half seconds faster than what the current lap record is around the place and everything seemed to be good. That was until this weekend when the SRO America and GT World Challenge Series showed up and the track decided that it wanted to, well, stop being a racing surface and have potholes like they were I-75. So now, looking at this picture right here, you can clearly see that is not ideal. And they can't just go out and put a cone down there because this is a professional race after all. And you can't expect people to drive around that going into that hairpin at turn 11. So there's a massive problem on their hands, meaning that somebody at this paving company had to call up their boss like they were Bradley Cooper in The Hangover and be like, uh, We fucked up. Yeah, this is going to be expensive for that paving company. And I can only assume, I don't know who this paving company is. And if I did, I wouldn't say their name because they don't need to get dragged through the mud for something like this. But according to my TikTok comments and all the expert pavers that are on there, I don't know anything about paving. I have an asphalt driveway because my driveway is long and I refuse to pay for the concrete of it. But I do know my driveway is thicker than what they laid down on Sonoma because that looks nearly paper thin. And according to my followers, that's because they laid it down too thin and didn't put enough tack down before they put the asphalt down, which apparently you have to use super glue when you put asphalt down. And the more you know, I'm not a paving expert, but I'm glad that everybody else is. Genuinely, I am actually happy that people provide a good feedback in the comments because you learn something when you have this. So now that's a major issue because it didn't just happen in turn 11 where we see or the entrance to turn 11. It also happened at the top of the racetrack up by NASCAR turn 4A and down into turn 5. You know how they skip. Well, I guess it's technically turn 7 because they skip 5 and 6, which are in the carousel. So NASCAR refers to it. You know what I'm getting at here. That's also become a major problem point. So SRO GT World Challenge, they went to Sonoma and they're like, what's the plan here? And they canceled everything for Thursday. All right, that's off the table. Let's try to find a solution for this to at least get through the weekend. And credit to Sonoma, credit to the paving company, because they are actually doing extensive work Thursday night going into Friday. The schedule for the weekend, at least on Sunday, remains unchanged. Of course, this is a fluid situation, but they are completely grind, grinding, grounding, grinding out the surface, the newly laid surface that is down into turn 11, they're grinding that out. They have the equipment down there right now, picking all that up, picking up what essentially, have you ever looked at an asphalt processing facility? There's one in my city. It's fascinating. I wish I kind of just go there and watch how they make asphalt. I know the blue collar people are like, why would you ever want to do that? That's because I don't see it very often. But they're grinding out all of the old asphalt and they're going to come in and repave the entire section, not just patch it. I mean, they're repaving the whole section. You can see it in the photo that's going across the screen right here. Yeah, so that's awesome for, for that section. And then at the top of the racetrack up by NASCAR turn 4A into turn seven right there, that short shoot area, they are also repaving all of that. Well, the large portion of the patch that you can see right here. They're not doing a full repave like they are down in turn 11, but that is a still a substantial patch right there. And is this going to be the long-term fix for it? I have no idea. Maybe this is just a fix to get through the weekend and then they'll have a long-term solution before the cup series comes back. But either way, this is not what you want out of your newly paved racetrack. I can only assume this went a lot like how a, um, a government bid goes, you know, the same people that build highways right here. If you've ever driven 75 or 95 or the 105 or literally any highway in America, outside of Kentucky, who seems to have a lot of concrete highways, shout out to Mitch McConnell for making sure they get those, even though he has no idea that he actually got those for his state. Not many people are very good at laying pavement. If I ever do come across a great stretch of highway where they do pave it, I wish they would put the sign to the company up because I just want to send them a thank you. It'd be like, hey, congratulations, I'm great at your job. You also figured out how to do the seam transitions on the overpass. Companies that have figured that out, I mean, round of applause for you guys because a lot of these a lot of these people out here just making it like a super cross jump and you're like whoo, whoo, boom back down i'm glad you guys probably one like the sound effect there and my motion of doing that either way i assume that this probably went to the lowest bidder right here and sonoma probably could have done the same dumb thing that they did at north wilkes where they're like oh come see our 
Moonshine Cave. They're like, oh yeah, the surface is tearing up because there's a wine cellar underneath turn 11 right here. Something stupid like that. Thankfully, they didn't do that because this is actually a serious problem and they need to get figured out. So credit to everybody for actually being really proactive in this situation and getting things done. Like, it's nice to see things actually get done in a very quick manner other than everybody being like, oh, we got to cancel the weekend and we'll just have to revisit this at some other point. Well, there's a lot of people, a lot of rich guys flew in to drive the race cars this weekend and they don't want to have to fly back and Sonoma doesn't want to take the hit for all this and the series and everything that would come along with that. So that would be a major issue. I'm glad that they're trying to get this fixed right here. It is a major problem and hopefully they do get it rectified because when the cup cars come there, they're going to be heavier than what we currently have there this weekend in these GT cars. So uh, they got to figure something out either way. Hats off to everybody for actually trying to find a solution for this weekend. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.